call to order the business meeting of the Lewis County Board of County Commissioners, May 18th, 2015, which is also a celebration of what event that happened 35 years ago? The Big Bang. The Big Bang, Mount St. Helens. Yeah. We have three commissioners present, so we have a quorum, flag salute. Commissioner Stamper. I'll take a motion for approval of the minutes. Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve the May 11, 2015 Board of County Commissioners meetings. I second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the May 11, 2015 Lewis County Board of County Commissioners business meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carried. Public comment. We have none. I would like to make public comment. Oh, yes, okay. Did you sign State, up? <laughs> State your name and your address, please. Hi, my name is Tim Elsie, and I live at 110 Deerfield Place, and I run a stunt cycling academy. And, you know, the commissioners often recognize employees who have reached a milestone. And today, Commissioner Schulte, would you mind coming down? I would like to recognize Commissioner Schulte because he is the first graduate of my stunt cycling academy. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of you may know that he took his dog for a walk the other day, but honestly, he was on his bicycle, which, by the way, we have to say is motor-assisted bicycle as he was taking his dog for a walk. Well, his dog and he had a disagreement about which direction they were going, and pretty soon he wound up in the emergency room. So, I had a similar experience a few years back, so today I'm going to present him with a certificate of graduation from the Tim Elsie Stunt Cycling Academy. <laughs> we, we also have a picture of him, of course. We have, I'll just put this in. We have the official uniform of the Stunt Cycling Academy, which of course. <laughs> we, we have training wheels. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> we, we also have a hard hat with mirrors so that now he can see which way the canines go. And finally, this is a little bit unusual, but we are going to present him with how to be the pack leader from Caesar. Oh. From Caesar <laughs> Do you have any comments, Commissioner Schulte? That's a good picture. I got my good side. <laughs> so is that a is that a before or after picture? That's an after. That's picture. an after. Okay, that's what I like. Got good color. As much as I appreciate that, Madam Chair, I recommend we start the search for a new county engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I move to approve the notice agenda, three items. Resolution number 15 TAC 147 to 15 TAC 149. You're back. I'm back. I second. Okay. Mr. Elsie. Good morning, Commissioners. Tim Elsie, Public Works Director, now speaking to the agenda. That's as close as I've ever seen Commissioner Schulte to not being able to speak. I know, <laughs> I know. Item number one on your notice agenda is a call for bids for the 2015 countywide hot mix asphalt for, for the uh, countywide 3R and for the culvert replacement for the unnamed tributary to Bunker Creek Road. And we're just going out to bid. The bids will open on June 2nd on or after 11.30 a.m. in this courtroom. Okay. Thank you.
Good morning, Lee Napier, Director of Community Development, speaking on agenda item number two, resolution 15148. And the item before you today is a request to set a hearing date to consider renewing the moratorium upon establishments involved in the production, processing, and retail sale of marijuana and related products. And the hearing date would be June 1. Any questions? The reason we're doing this is because we still have not yet got the recommendation from the Planning Commission. Right. The Planning Commission has concluded and they are offering a recommendation to the county commissioners, but that recommendation is dependent upon other code changes. So to bring it forward to you would be an incomplete package without for the board to take action on. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Tim L.C., Public Works Director, speaking to item number three on your notice agenda. And this is a notice of hearing regarding a franchise to Lightspeed Network, Networks, Inc. to construct, operate, and maintain a telecommunications network on County Road rights of way in Lewis County, Washington. The hearing will be held on or after 10 a.m. Monday, June 15th, 2015. And while Lightspeed Network has had a franchise on certain roads throughout the county, they are now asking for a franchise on all county road rights of ways. Thank you. Questions? Okay. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded to approve the following items on the notice agenda, one through three, resolution number 15-147 through 149. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carried. Madam Chair, I move to approve the consent agenda, items four through 12, resolution number 15-150 through 15-158. A second. Good morning, Commissioner Suzette Smith, Auditor's Office Financial Services Division, here to present to you uh, consent agenda item number four, resolution number 15-150. This is our weekly authorization or approval of warrants for payments of claims against the county departments and funds. For the week of May 11th through the 15th, we had 126 warrants. They were numbers 722915 through 723040 for a total of $468,252.20. We had no payroll. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Number five regarding the modified contract between Cascade Mental Health. Yes, good morning, Commissioners. My name is Jonathan Meyer. I'm a Lewis County Prosecutor. I'm actually speaking on behalf of Kevin Hansen from the jail who is unable to be here today. We're asking that a resolution be passed to authorize the amendment to a contract that currently exists with Cascade in the amount of $96,210. This is the uh, treatment portion of the mental health alternative that we have worked so hard to uh, establish, and we would ask that you approve that. Thank you for your efforts on that. Absolutely. I know you've put a lot of hours in it. We have, and we're excited. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioners. Under Sheriff uh, Wes Rethwell from the Sheriff's Office. Um, this resolution is for an interlocal compact, uh, which is a base umbrella agreement uh, that we are, want to enter into uh, between the Sheriff's Office and Centralia Police Department and uh, Chehalis Police Department. And this is basically for partnerships with those agencies on uh, uh, um, combined efforts. Uh, one is for the uh, Swiftwater Rescue uh, team that we have with uh, Chehalis and the other is for the anti-crime unit uh, that we have with Centralia Police Department. This particular uh, interlocal compact um, addresses all the risk mitigation and liability factors. Once this is signed uh, by uh, both the city councils and by the commissioners, um, then we can enter into working agreements between the sheriff's office and the particular uh, police chief. So we don't have to continually keep coming back to the commissioners uh, on things um, that are specifically work related to the partnerships that we have with those other local agencies. David. Commissioners, we commend this approach to you. It's a two-tiered approach. 
We're here, of course, because the power to enter into, into an interlocal agreement is a power unique to the Board of County Commissioners. It cannot be exercised by other elected officials. By the same token, the law clearly entrusts the authority and the duty of Chief Law Enforcement Officer to the Sheriff. In order to achieve this balance, we commend this two-tiered approach to you. That is, the commissioners enter into an interlocal agreement which sets a structure. It sets out a framework for allocation of risk and benefits. And uh, then at an operational level, the sheriff's office can enter into uh, operational agreements as appropriate under the overall umbrella which is being established today. We believe that this does two things. It best safeguards the financial uh, and legal interests of the county and it allows the necessary operational flexibility, which is essential for effective law enforcement, both now and in the future. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. Tim Elsey speaking to items seven and eight on your consent agenda. Item seven is a bid award for the crushed surfacing rock proposal. As you're aware, RCW 3904155 allows local governments to award contracts for construction and other improvements through established small works rosters, when such work has an estimated cost of $300,000 or less. Uh, Lewis County adopted procedures establishing a small works roster by resolution 09226. An engineer's estimate determined that the crushed surfacing rock proposal would cost less than $300,000 and therefore a request for email quotes was made to all participants in the small works roster and we received six email quotes back for this project. Uh, upon reviewing the unit prices for the two alternates, it was determined that the second alternate was the most advantageous to the county and we are recommending accepting the bid from Alderbrook Quarry in the amount of $53,991.63. And Alderbrook Quarry is located in Chehalis. That's correct, okay. off of Cousins Road. Uh, the next resolution is resolution number 15-154, approving a task assignment pursuant to interlocal agreement 05-200 between Lewis County and Tacoma Power regarding work by county crews. Um, every year, the Tacoma Power asked us to perform work on their roadways. This would allow us to do chip sealing work of a little over a mile of road for Tacoma Power through an, an interlocal agreement that has already been signed by the Board of County Commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. For the record, Michael Strozik, Director of Central Services. I know number nine on your agenda day is resolution number 15-155. It's a bid award for the jail camera upgrade project. Back in January of this year, we went out to bid for a new camera monitoring system for the Lewis County Jail. The original camera ha system has been employed in there since the day the new jail opened and no longer meets the needs of um, the correctional officers and stuff. And so this is a bid with Justice Systems Corporation of Kent, Washington in the amount of $495,580 to install a new camera system in the jail. The camera system needs to be replaced for various uh, reasons. It's an old analog system and it no longer meets the needs, not only of the uh, Prison Rape Elimination Act, but also for the safety of the inmates and the correctional officers working. Funding for this project will be coming out of the one-tenth of one percent funds that are available for maintenance and upgrades of the jail. Questions? And also on that, they are going to be starting the project um, later today as this passes. So we are getting right on it. So item number 10 on your agenda is resolution number 15-156. This is um, a housekeeping item that we usually bring quarterly. Um, we brought one a few weeks ago for surplus property. This one is going to clean up a couple of late items that were added. There's 30 new items, mostly in the technology world that we will um, be declaring surplus today, a few old chairs and stuff like that. 
And if the public wants to find out about that, how do they, where do they go? We will put it out on the, the website like we always do, Commissioner, and we will also be sending an email out to the small agencies. And I will say one of the reasons we're bringing it forth early with these um, 30 items is we've been contacted by some folks that have looked through our surplus items, and these would have normally been set aside for after July, and there is a need for those now to be distributed. So we're going to go ahead and uh, um, take care of the housekeeping items so we can get those out to people. Good morning, April Kelly, Social Services Manager. And I'm here um, to go over resolution number 15-157, number 11, approving contract amendment number 14 to program agreement number 1163-27316 between the Division of Behavioral Health and Recovery. This amendment just changes some contract language around the criminal justice treatment account and actually does not have any effect on our county. Um, also number 12, resolution number 15-158, approving contract amendment number one with Cascade Mental Health Care to increase the amount provided for preven prevention counselor in the PL school district. Uh, basically, they overspent their contract with PL um, for mileage reimbursement costs and they underspent another contract. So what this amendment does is just shift the money within the budget. Questions, comments? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda items four through 12, resolution number 15-150 through 158. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now we will be moving into a hearing. A hearing regarding application for a community development block grant, CDBG, general purpose from the State Department of Commerce. We will first have a staff report followed by a question and answer period. We will then close the question and answer period and open the hearing for formal testimony. And public testimony is three minutes in duration. And if those folks want to sign in, we have a sign in sheet now that you could put your name to. Okay, let's go with the staff report. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Tim Elsie, Lewis County Public Works Director. And as stated, we're here to discuss a CDBG general purpose grant for funding a new reservoir at the Vader Water System. This community development block grant program is a program that helps rural communities with projects that benefit low and moderate income persons. Uh, there are several grant programs, of course, and we're asking for permission to apply for a general purpose grant. This is for public infrastructure, community facilities, affordable housing, or economic development. As you're aware, we performed a um, income survey in the community of Vader to ensure we qualify for these grants and the community does qualify for the grant program. There's a comment sheet at the podium as was mentioned before and there's also a fact sheet about community development block grants. Good morning, I'm Shirley Cook from Lewis County Public Works. Um, I want to give you some information about our project. Um, Public Works wishes to apply again for the CDBG general purpose grant funding to construct another reservoir at the Vader water treatment plant. An additional reservoir is identified and supported in our current water system plan for the Vader and Chanet Valley water system. This secondary reservoir will eliminate existing storage capacity deficiency, improve system pressures, allow options to remove the existing reservoir offline for services excuse me, for repairs and cleaning and provide efficient operations when ra our raw water intake is turbid. All these benefits offer, uh, excuse me, offer operational cost savings as we operate the system. When we have high flows from heavy rainstorms or discharges from Tacoma Power, it results in higher than normal turbidity in our plant. This turbid water sets our plant to undergo frequent backwashes. 
which results in using more chemicals, power, and um, resources. With our current one reservoir, we have to make water to fill up our reservoir um, during these uh, turbid times. We cannot turn our plant off or have it go offline. Um, so having an additional reservoir will give us the capacity to have our plant go offline, store additional water um, when there is the high raw water turbidity conditions. We're asking for approval to go ahead with this application and we're asking for $717,000. Any questions for staff? Just one real quick. I have two resolutions in here for community development block grants. Are there, are there two of them we're considering? Because I know we can only forward one. Yes. We're, hmm. And I think Centre is doing the other. And they're doing the one for? Uh, Alder, Alder House. Okay, the housing one. Okay. okay. That's correct. We, we weren't certain whether or not we were going to present two for you today or if, if there were going to be two presentations, but the city of Centralia has chosen to move the Alder House forward. So as we can only do one grant, we are going ahead and presenting the Vader water system improvement. Okay. Any other questions from the board? Any questions from the public? Do we have any people signed up? Is there anybody here from the Vader area? So I will, we will close the question and answer period. Tim and Shirley, would you like your opening comments to be incorporated into the hearing? Yes, please. Okay. All right, we'd like to open the hearing for public testimony. Any other? We have no one on the public testimony. Okay. So we will close the hearing for public testimony. I'd like to call for the question. Madam Chair, I move to approve resolution number 15, TAC 159, and that approves the Community Development Block Grant for the Vader Water Reservoir. A second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 15-159. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carried. Madam Chair, with no uh, further business, I move we adjourn. I second. Move and second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> We're adjourned.